Okay, hello guys, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'm going to analyze the market. Okay, today it's the 14th of June. We're going to analyze uh, each of these currency pairs here. Okay, for the week ahead, uh, which will be from 15th June to 19th June. Okay, so uh, if you do not uh, know us, or you know this is the first time you're watching this video, okay, uh, we do a lot of um, analysis like this. Uh, we teach you a lot of tricks. So because uh, we want to help you be successful as a trader. So this uh, video here will give you uh, certain levels of uh, you know, importance, levels that you want to pay attention to, and also um, the bias for the week. Okay, so the first thing that we always do is we always want to look at uh, the uh, Forex calendar. Okay, so you can see that uh, I'm on the week of uh, 14. Okay, this uh, 14 June. Okay, uh, for this Forex calendar, it starts on a Sunday. Okay, that's why it's, it's showing like this. But uh, you can see over here that uh, next week we have the uh, Japan uh, policy statement. Uh, we have uh, this uh, federal chairman testifying. Okay, and you have uh, this one over here. Okay, and you also have this uh, Frank uh, SMB monetary policy assessment and the conference. Okay, so uh, it's going to be a tough week. Okay, uh, if you do not know, uh, we always say that when it comes to weeks like this, when you have you know policy statements, a conference, uh, these are the kind of weeks where uh, the market is very constipated. Uh, there is not a lot of movement until after the uh, event. Okay, so that's a concept that we always teach. Uh, you notice that uh, I kind of uh, keep nagging on this. I keep harping on this concept. I keep uh, enforcing this concept uh, because um, this analysis, right, this uh, Forex calendar analysis is going to uh, help you manage your expectations for the week as well as uh, tell you whether uh, you should be aggressive in trading or you, know, you, you, should, you should be more patient. Okay. So for this week, uh, I think we want to be a bit more patient. Okay, we want to be more patient until uh, probably after Thursday. Okay, after this 7 p.m., uh, then you probably see nicer, cleaner movement. Okay, so let's go into the charts. Okay, so the first currency I want to talk about, um, it's the DXY. Okay, DXY stands for Dollar Currency Index. Okay, it represents a uh, dollar. Okay, the direction of USD. Okay. So I always like to start my analysis with DXY because uh, USD is the main currency. So if you can tell uh, you know, where the currency is going to go, uh, USD is going to go then, uh, it makes your job a lot, of, a lot easier. Okay, so the first thing uh, you want to see is that uh, this was the level that I was talking about uh, in the previous uh, Market Outlook video. Okay, I was saying that, you know, I'm afraid that price closes below and you know, close back up because uh, the week hasn't ended. And uh, true enough, uh, if you switch to this week chart, uh, it ended with a doji, okay, or kind of like a pin bar. And uh, price didn't close below this 0 0.786 level, okay? So this just gives me a lot of uh, so-called confirmation that uh, price uh, can probably go up, okay? Uh, you probably see a uh, strength in a dollar, okay, because it's DXY, so uh, if, DXY goes up, that means a dollar will be strengthening. So currency pairs like Euro dollar, Aussie cat, uh, dollar, uh, Kiwi dollar is going to fall, right? Because uh, strengthening of dollar means that uh, people will buy dollar and uh, Euro dollar is inversely related to dollar, okay? So uh, you should see price uh, go up, okay? You should expect a small, uh, uh, small big uh, retracement. I won't really know, I can't tell now. But uh, we should see a, a decent size uh, pullback. It might even just pull back uh, to this level here as well. So uh, it's too early to say where you'll pull back to. But I, I think that a uh, pullback is definitely possible. Okay, the pullback is more likely. So with that being said, next week I'll be looking towards shorting uh, currencies like uh, all this. Okay, so that's how you use the DXY to get a uh, view about uh, what you should be doing. Okay, so Aussie dollar, same thing. Okay, last week I talked about this level here and you see it just got resisted precisely uh, as you know what I said. Okay, so this is the importance of uh, this kind of key levels, right? Knowing what are the key levels that you should pay attention to. Okay, so I think this video demonstrates that uh, you want to really take note of these levels. You don't just want to watch this video and you know like 
kind of have an idea about what you should do, but not write these levels down, okay? So what I want you to do is I want you to literally, you know, pause this video if you need, open your charts and plot the levels down, okay? That's very important, right? Honestly, there's no point uh, watching this video if uh, all you are doing is just uh, watching and you're not taking notes, you're not writing down uh, the levels that uh, you should be paying attention to, okay? It, it doesn't help you at all. Okay, so let's talk about uh, Aussie dollar. Okay, so Aussie dollar had a nice uh, bullish, uh, sorry, bearish and guffing candle uh, below this. Okay, uh, this is also a double top if you look at the H4. Okay, so notice uh, I could see there is a double top even before I switch to the H4. Okay, uh, all this comes from experience. Okay, uh, as you, you know, as you carry on trading and you build your screen time, uh, this is a kind of, uh, you know, perspective that you can have you know one look you know that okay that's a double top okay so what's important is that this is a double top and we have a day close below it right a day close uh, in some of my other videos i talk about the concept of a day close a day close is more powerful than a, a h4 close because that means that all trading sessions agree with uh, this uh, close right that this level is broken Okay, so if you are confused about what I'm talking about, you know, you never watched that video, uh, go and check out my other videos. Uh, I do cover that concept. Okay, so uh, with that being said, uh, this level is broken. So you can see on Friday, uh, this level is being tested, retested as a resistance. So support turned to resistance. Okay, previously here was a support. Okay, uh, resistance. So this is a very key level, 0 0.6906, okay? If you cannot remember, just take it as a, a round digit 0 0.69 as a resistance, okay? You want to be looking at uh, this level, okay? So uh, if we see, um, let me just draw it. If we see price being resisted, then we should see it go down. But uh, if we see it uh, break, then chances are it's going to retest the recent high, which is uh, somewhere about here, uh, the 0 0.70 round digit level. Okay, so right now, uh, the bias is bearish. Okay, in the in alignment with uh, the the XY trade. Okay, so but just wait for some form of confirmation. Wait for some uh, price action of uh the zero point six nine level. Okay, let's talk about uh euro dollar. Okay, euro dollar. Uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, it was resisted here. Okay, almost touched uh the the exact resistance level here, uh, but it didn't. Okay. But nonetheless, um, uh, you can see that it had a uh, bearish engulfing pattern and then uh, you have this bearish bar, okay? But uh, I'm very concerned with this candle close because uh, you can see that this candle bar here is not, you know, it's not, it didn't close below this, okay? So this, this candle bar low, uh, barely closed below, okay? It means, sorry, let me just uh, repeat that, okay? This, this current candle, Friday's candle, barely close below this candle low here, okay? And it didn't close below this low, okay? So what I'm seeing is that uh, it's a potential head and shoulders, okay? Uh, let me just draw it out for you. It's a potential head and shoulders. This is the left shoulder. Sorry, this is the left head. This is the shoulder. And uh, you, you can say this is the right shoulder, um, but I don't like this. Besides uh, the day close, uh, it, it didn't really close below this important level here, okay? So uh, I probably expect um, price to uh, retrace a bit higher, okay? Probably retrace to create a proper right shoulder here, okay? Uh, before selling it back down, okay? But uh, if this happens uh, and you sell somewhere around here, you want to be careful because uh, this is very strong support. And uh, as I said, uh, the day close didn't, you know, the daily candle didn't close below this important uh, support. So if you short here, make sure to take your profit fast over here, okay? You, or at least shift your stop loss to break even, okay? You don't want to uh, short here, uh, leave your trade running, you know, with a uh, stop loss above, and then, you know, it, it bounces up and comes up here and takes you out at, uh, for loss, okay? When uh, you could have, uh, you know, made some money, okay? So if you're going to short here, uh, understand that it's a short-term play, okay? Uh, do a, a nice shot into the support and make sure you take your profits or at least uh, shift your stop loss to break even uh, if you are shorting over here. Okay, so uh, US, 
euro dollar is not that clear. Uh, I don't really like it as much as a, a Aussie dollar because Aussie dollar you have a very nice day close. A uh, euro dollar uh, you didn't close above this uh, important level, uh, which I think is really important that price close below this level. Uh, if uh, you know if price were to drop, carry on dropping down. Okay, so make sure you take note of this level if you need to do it. Uh, pause this video. Okay. Okay, dollar cat. Okay, dollar cat uh finally found support. Okay, support uh this region here. Okay, let me show it to you. This region here. Okay, so it's bouncing up. So I think this is very si similar to DXY. You can see that the charts are uh, pretty similar. Okay, it's quite similar. And uh, if we draw the Fibonacci from high to low. Okay, you can see that price uh, barely touched the zero point seven eight six. Okay, so same thing as a uh, DXY. Okay, I uh, expect price to retrace higher. Okay, probably towards uh, this zone here. Okay, this is a supply zone. Okay, I believe I covered this concept before. Uh, how to identify supply zone? Uh, basically, you just look at the departure. Okay, you can see that after this uh, consolidation, you have a very big move down. So this is supply zone. Okay, so I expect price to uh, retrace towards uh, this. Okay, now price might, uh, you know, do this first, uh, then uh, go up. So that's where you need to pay attention to your price action. Okay, you don't just want to enter. So uh, if I'm looking to buy, I'll be looking at uh, this level 1.3494 because uh, let me show you why. Okay, because previously it was supported here. You can see that price uh, couldn't break it. And when it broke, it had a big move down. More importantly, you had a retest somewhere here. Okay, let me just draw it properly. Okay, 1.3484. Okay, something like this, this level here. Okay, so uh, right now I, I prefer for price to uh, retrace lower and then I'll buy it up uh, towards uh, this region here. Okay, I, I don't want to be buying at this high price and uh, try to aim here. Okay, I want to wait for price to come down to an attractive level especially when you know you're buying counter trend trades because you can see that a big trend is down right uh this is a this is a high this is a low this is a lower high and this is definitely a lower low okay no matter how you draw it it's it's a series of uh, lower lows and lower highs so uh, you want to be shorting as much as possible okay but right now i do see a nice counter trend play uh, that uh, may form during next week okay now let's talk about uh, kiwi dollar uh, kiwi dollar is exactly the same as uh, aussie dollar so you can see most of the time a lot of currency pairs are the same okay so uh, if you do your own analysis and for example you find that uh, you have a you're looking to buy for aussie dollar but you're looking to sell for kiwi dollar uh, then you probably want to reanalyze your trades because most of the time uh, these pairs move in tandem they move in the same direction so uh, there's really no point in selling Aussie dollar and buying Kiwi dollar, okay? If, if you want to do that, it's better to trade the uh, uh, FX uh, crosses, which is uh, Aussie Kiwi. Just trade directly into Aussie Kiwi uh, rather than, you know, buy Aussie dollar and sell Kiwi dollar because uh, they always move in the same direction. So it just doesn't make sense, okay? So same thing, uh, you have this uh, level over here, okay? This is a double top, okay? Double top, uh, price... Uh, Okay, let me just draw it properly. Okay, double top. Okay, so a price had a nice close. So I want you to watch this level. Okay, make sure you note this level down. Watch this level. Uh, watch whether this level holds or breaks. Okay, because uh, we are at support right now. If you draw, uh, you know, Fibonacci extension. Okay, you do see that uh, price has hit his target of uh, 1.618. Okay, uh, I did actually record a video about how to use this tool yet. I think this Fibonacci extension, I think I haven't really, can't really recall if I did a video on this. Okay, uh, I don't explain it in this video. If not, this video is going to be like 40 minutes long or something. Uh, but uh, you just need to know that uh, right now price is at support. Okay, so uh, you are very concerned whether a uh, price will actually just uh, carry on, uh, you know, doing this break through the resistance okay but this is a critical level okay this is what i like to call the make or break level meaning that uh, if this level is broken then i want to be looking for longs but if this level is being resisted then i want to be looking for shots okay so this is the make or break level okay 
So nothing too much to say about Kiwi dollar apart from that. So let's talk about uh, dollar yen, okay? Dollar yen uh, is very nice. I like this a lot. And uh, there's also a lesson that uh, you can learn over here. So recently you see that uh, there was this uh, pin bar here, right? And this pin bar low uh, coincides with, uh, you see this point here, this point here, and nicely sits on kind of like this swing low here. Okay, so what the market did, which was quite nasty, was uh, they did a fake break. Okay, so this is a fake break setup. Okay, fake break means that uh, price breaks below and then uh, reverses, totally uh, ignores the support. So people who place their stop loss, you know, people who went long here and place their stop loss below this uh, swing low, they would have gotten stop out. Okay, and breakout traders who um, entered here, thinking that, oh, this support, uh, this support is broken out. I want price to go down. They are, so, they are so in the red now, or chances are they have already been stopped out, okay? So this is a very good setup to trade. This is a, one of the most profitable tra trade setups for me, doing a fake out, right? Call it fake out. So fake break. So uh, because this, is, this happened, you can expect price to you know, come back up here, okay? This is a supply zone. Okay, so uh, this is kind of like in alignment with the XY. Okay, you expect a price to uh, retrace higher. Okay, except that I think there's more strength in this because this is not just a retracement trade, but it's a fake out trade as well, you know, I just explained. So this is a very strong uh, trade. Okay, next week, uh, I think we'll probably be focusing on this. And also because there is, a, you can see here, there's this BOJ uh, press conference. Okay, and policy statement. So that's probably why there's a, you know, fake out. Okay, I don't expect it to be easy, right? Because prior to a news event, a market like to hug at important level. So, um, you know, Monday and Tuesday price might hug at this level nicely and uh, make and have you make a bet about whether this level will be supported or it will be broken. Okay, so that's a very common, uh, you know, a thing in the market where the market just uh, parts at an important level prior to a news event, okay? Uh, I cover this concept quite extensively in some of my other videos, uh, recent videos, right? Because uh, this is a concept that uh, I think is important that you know, okay? So make sure you watch that uh, after this video if you have not, okay? So I'll be looking to buy a dollar yen, okay? But uh, just take note of uh, the uh, BOJ uh, monetary policy statement as well as the press conference, okay? Uh, pound dollar. Okay, I like pound dollar a lot, okay, because uh, you have the recent high here. Okay, you can see the recent high here. Uh, and you have this uh, kind of like pin bar. And price broke below. If this is called a conclusive close, okay. This is very conclusive. But if you look at this one compared with euro dollar, uh, the close is kind of, you know, shady. You know, it's not really uh, concrete. So that's why I don't like euro dollar, but I like uh, pound dollar a lot, okay. So next week, uh, the trade would be to look towards a retracement here, and then uh, we'll just shut it down, okay? So uh, so some other things to note would be uh, this trend line here, okay? Uh, let's say you are shorting, uh, you want to take note of uh, various levels of support, okay? You want to take note of uh, this level here, okay? You also want to take note of, um, let me draw it. There are a lot of support at the bottom, you see, that's a problem. Let me see if I can... Okay, so um, anyway, this is too far. Yeah, this is too far. It's, you know, it's time, it takes time for price to come here. So I won't leave this here. Okay, but you just immediate trend line, uh, this trend line here, you want to pay attention to it. Okay, and also please note, right, that uh, uh, pound dollar in the grand scheme of things uh, is kind of more of an uptrend than a downtrend. You have a low here, you have a high, you have a higher low, and then you have a higher high, okay? So it's very probable that price upon, uh, you know, sorry, I shouldn't have deleted that. Let me just, okay. It's very probable that price, uh, you know, uh, bounces off this trend line and then goes up, okay? So if you're going to short, uh, just make sure that uh, you watch this trend line. Okay, this trend line is very important. Okay, uh, make sure uh, you do not be too aggressive with your shots, okay? Because you're doing counter trend trades, okay? Not to worry, I'll send out trades uh, if I see anything. Okay, um, this is uh, Euro Yen, okay? The last two currency pair, okay? Uh, you can see over here that this was the recent high, okay? Price also broke it, 
uh, decisively like the pound dollar. Okay, uh, you have a weak close, right? The weak close, uh, the weak close below uh, this important level. So next week we should see uh, euro yen uh, drop further. Okay, so the key level uh, you want to pay attention to uh, this entire zone here. Okay, uh, let me just draw it properly. Okay, you also want to pay attention to this candle high here. Okay, this candle high here. Okay, uh, you want price to remain below uh, this entire zone. Okay, the highest price that uh, price can go is the 121.78. Okay, anything above, if price goes above and closes above this level, then you probably expect price to uh, go up, okay, to go higher. So the make or break level is 121.77. Okay, anything below that, uh, you expect price to uh, just, you know, carry on its retracement down, okay? So same thing uh, in the grand scheme of things, uh, Euro Yen is an uptrend, okay? You can see uh, you have a low, you have a, sorry, let me draw it here. Okay, you have a high, you have a higher low, um, and then you have a higher high, okay? So in the grand scheme of things, uh, you are, the, the trend is up. So you want to be careful, you want to be more cautious if you're shorting it down, okay? So shorting down is just a short-term play. It's not uh, for you to hold all the way, okay? Okay, last currency pair, okay? Uh, this is, a, you know, gold It's something that a lot of traders like. I know a lot of you like to trade a gold. So I saved the best for the last. Okay, previously, last week, I've drawn this level, uh, this trend line, which seems to be true still, right? Uh, it got supported, it got resisted. Now, it seems like it's getting, uh, you know, supported again. Okay, let me just adjust it. Okay, it's being supported again. Okay, but the problem is that uh, you have a lot of uh, resistance, overhead resistance. You, you do see that uh, this is the recent high. Price is, you know, stuck between the recent high and the uh, uh, trend line. Okay, the trend line support. So uh, it's going to be very tight. This is a tight range currently. Uh, personally, I don't think you should be trading this because uh, it's very tight. It's very difficult to make a conclusion. Okay, um, I, I would recommend you to uh, trade only after price has broken out of this box or you know it has broken down. Then uh, you can see the uh, recent low here again. Okay, but uh, just take note, uh, you don't want to be trading into this zone. It's going to be very difficult to trade. Okay, it's not worth your time. Uh, to trade for such you know such a tight range and it's going nowhere and so frustrating okay it's better to just wait for price to break out okay besides uh, we have so many other uh, currency pairs to trade uh i don't think it's wise to trade uh gold okay but long term wise uh, we are still in the uptrend okay uh, let me show it to you you have a high you have a low right notice i'm always doing the same thing this is always the same things Okay, you need to keep doing this to, uh, you know, you, it's automatic. You, you don't really think about it. Uh, it just happens. Every chart you look, you're looking at the trend, you're looking at the highs, the lows, and you're trying to gauge, okay, uh, am I in a uh, uptrend, am, am I in a downtrend, or am I in consolidation, okay? So we are still in the uptrend. So ideally, I would prefer to buy uh, and support us and sell at resistance rather than to just sell at, uh, you know, sorry, Buy a support and take profit and resistance, not uh, buy a support, sell a resistance. You can, but uh, my personal preference is that I prefer to buy low, uh, let price come to resistance, hope that uh, resistance gets broken and then I make uh, additional profits uh, when price breaks out. Okay, that's just my personality uh, for you. You can sell the resistance if you want over here, but just take note of the uh, support that I, I highlighted, okay? So on the day chart, so uh, you don't see price doing any nice uh, day close below um, this uh, candle low, okay? So uh, you do want to see some form of uh, further bearishness before uh, you consider uh, taking a short trade, okay? You also want to pay attention to uh, this level here. Let me just show it to you. Okay, uh, this, this trend line as well. So uh, ideally, you have a very nice close, maybe something like that, price you know, closes here and then you trace up uh, to sell, okay? You want to see a very concrete uh, bearish candle before you take any short position, okay? So, yep, I think uh, that's it. Uh, I hope this entire video uh, prepares you well for the uh, trading week ahead. Okay, if any other currency pairs or any questions, uh, please just leave a comment down below, okay? We do read every comment, okay? Uh, please just let us know what you need, okay? We'll try our best to serve you, to help you, okay? If you're new to this channel, 
make sure you hit the subscribe button, give us a thumbs up. Okay, we have a free day trading guide for you as well. So just uh, you know, check out the link in the description below. Okay, just go and download that. That will get you started. Uh, give you a free day trading strategy uh, to start trading. Okay, not not a fluffy strategy. We're not trying to teach you things that don't work. Okay, that's a step by step guide. And uh, make sure you are also part of our Telegram channel where we send our trade signal. Okay, because uh, chances are you know, uh, I can give you the levels, but um, it takes experience still to gauge whether this level is going to hold. Okay, there are a lot of other factors. Okay, I cannot just tell you the level and say go trade off this level. Okay, so um, that's what we do in our Telegram channel. We tell you, uh, you know, okay, this is what we are buying. We think that there's an opportunity here. Go, go, um, you know, go check this out. Okay, so that's the uh, value of the uh, Telegram channel. Okay, so if not, that's it for this video. Thanks for your time. I appreciate uh, you watching it, uh, especially if you, you know watch all the way until the end here. Okay, so I'll see you in the Telegram channel. So uh, trade safe and manage your risk well.